What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, we got to talk about The Rock potentially going away after WrestleMania to film his next film and how long that may be. So, we're going to talk about this. Uh, I found this information out on Twitter. So, we're going to get right into this one by uh, WrestleMania. This is the tweet. Uh, PW Insider, The Rock will be out of action in WWE from may 1st until august 1st to film a movie that would likely take him out of doing anything physical for wwe during that time period it seems unlikely he'll be wrestling in saudi arabia in may however wwe hold two saudi shows a year so it's possible he could be wrestling at a later show this is just the reports they have right now and i uh, i believe the rock had already had some um, prior dates established for his upcoming movie that he's supposed to be in. So it's not a surprise, but I wanted to talk about this only because it kind of proves the point on why the Rock and Roman shouldn't happen at this year's, shouldn't have happened at this year's WrestleMania. This furthers proves the point why it shouldn't have happened only because... This is a feud, in my opinion, that shouldn't just be rushed. It should, this should take time to build. And I think they're going in the right direction by not having this feud happen at this year's WrestleMania. Because to be honest with you, the feud would have only been like maybe a month, maybe, maybe two months, if that, from when he initially, uh, from when he initially tried to take Cody's spot or Cody gave up his spot, you know, like that's, that's relatively not enough time, you know, eight weeks, six to eight weeks is not enough time to really build up such a great feud like this. And we're just seeing teases of it with just some of the things that Roman and the rock have said in their body language. So, and people are just getting hype off the speculation. So I do think they make the right choice on calling the audible, and not having this match happen yet. I know a lot of people say, oh, we want it to happen now. But no, you don't have to rush this. And there's story to tell. For example, if The Rock and Roman was to happen, we know he still was going to do the movie obligations. One or two things was going to happen. Either The Rock was going to win and we weren't going to see a top champion on SmackDown. Or Roman was going to win. And we weren't going to see a top champion on SmackDown for, you know, the summer months. So it would have been a lose-lose situation for the fans. They would have had their match. Probably would have been fun. And then that would have been it. Then what? Then what you do for Roman at that point? If he does win that match against The Rock, they were supposed to, you know, have that match at this year's WrestleMania. What, what happens to Roman? He beat The Rock. Who's beating him? Some say, oh, Gunther. Possibly. Possibly. But you would want a heel in a babyface dynamic anyway in this particular situation. And I don't even see that happening. So what do you do? You literally would book yourself in the corner. And then at that point, I don't think people would have cared about Cody winning as much. So it, it, it just, it wouldn't have worked. It would have, you would have booked yourself once again into a corner. If The Rock wins, I'm sure he would have probably still been feuding with Roman, but he wouldn't have been on TV. So we still would have been left without a champion. Now, you put Cody into the mix. You have Cody win. Now we still we get a champion that's going to be on SmackDown weekly for the most part. And you can build story off of this loss. Because I know a lot of people are thinking The Rock is going to turn on Roman. And I was one of those people that was thinking that was going to possibly happen at, at this year's WrestleMania. But as I look at it now, I don't think they need to do that. They're playing right into the fact that The Rock is seemingly on Roman's side. But I don't think they need to rush that. I do think this year's WrestleMania... The Rock and Roman teaming up. There's going to be some issues in that, uh, that tag team match on night one. And then there's going to be some issues in that Bloodlines rule match for night two between The Rock and Roman. And I could see a situation 
where Cody wins, but Roman's going to blame everybody else but himself. That's the story that I can see them portraying. Roman getting mad at everybody else but himself. And the biggest person he's going to get mad at is The Rock. He's going to get mad at him because he's going to possibly feel like, you know, he didn't help out enough. He's the reason why he lost the championship. And also the fact that he's not going to be there. And they can play up the fact that The Rock is filming movies and it's going to piss Roman off because maybe The Rock gets, uh, uh, not The Rock, Paul Heyman is trying to call The Rock to get a hold of him. And he's not re returning Roman's calls. Roman not getting calls returned to him by someone that quote unquote acknowledged him. That's going to piss him off. He's going to be deranged in the sense of he doesn't have the championship. So how can you call yourself the tribal chief when you don't have the championship no more? And life after the championship is going to be very different for him. You're going to see, hopefully, and they do this, his mannerisms are going to be a lot more outburst like he's gonna he's gonna snap more he's gonna be more disrespectful to his bloodline brethren to the point where they want out and he's gonna be disrespecting a rock he's gonna be trying to call him out come back rock we need to talk like is it's gonna get to that point where where the rock is done filming then he'll probably respond and say yo what's going on here like what i thought we were family I did my part. You couldn't finish the job. And then, boom. You can build. Because if you have the Rock and Roman happen now, there's not much story to tell left. Especially if the Rock loses, there's no story to tell. If the Rock wins, yeah, there's a story to tell. But at the same time, the majority of the summer months will just be once again with no champion. We'd have to wait even longer, but you can build story within the bloodline and Roman's frustration until the rock comes back. And the, and to me personally, that's a great way to bridge this storyline of Roman post WrestleMania, no championship blaming everybody else for his for his loss now taking it out on a bloodline that's where you can create the situation where maybe jimmy steps away or even solo because we've been waiting for this moment where solo finally says enough is enough this ain't what's up or you can build a situation where maybe some of the bloodline members start to slowly but surely you know follow the rocks orders before wrestlemania or during wrestlemania something like that you can do so many things but it's better with cody having a championship and them having their their epic match at next year's wrestlemania or whenever you want to do it but it doesn't need to happen now because you can tell so much more story with the rock not being there for however long he's going to be out filming the movie. This is why you do certain things like that. Because if you rush the story. Now you create a huge gap. Where The Rock's not going to be there. Roman's not going to be there. Then I mean there's no point for Roman to be there. Especially if he wins. There's literally no point for him to be there. Until The Rock comes back. You feel me? So that's pointless. But now you create that story. The Rock. If Cody wins. Have him win at WrestleMania 40. Rock goes away. Uh, Roman feels some type of way and you create that dissension with the bloodline Roman starting to lose it blaming everybody else to to the point where the rock finally comes back addresses it and they built a feud from there it's simple I know I see some people saying oh no it still should happen no bro you don't have to rush it no great stories aren't rushed you build build in anticipation escalate the story you don't rush it because rushing it, all that's going to do, you're going to create a situation where now, what what we do now? How do we follow up on that? Having Roman lose this year helps for the Rock and Roman story going on for the rest of this year and into next year, depending on when they want to have that match. So, it makes sense. And I'm glad they did pull the audible like they did. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with my point on uh, Cody winning this year? and building up that feud even more between the rock and roman or do you guys 
feel like rock and roman should have happened this year let me know how y'all feel down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to an mvdk and i'm still getting speed to youtube rest of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace